Eric won the hot seat, so Ben has to double dip. Share the stream, guys. It's going to be an awesome match. Some big money they're playing for. $100 entry, $500 added. There's 71 total players. No green fees, 100% payout. Eric's going to have to play a small window for that eight ball. Seven four for Eric. I don't know. Ben shooting good. Biggest thing is making a ball on your break. Who won the door prize? You did, Sean. He actually won. Buying extra tickets paid off. I'd like to see this go hell hell, but Ben's got a double dip. Ben's coming from the B side, Eric won the hot seat. See if he can play the window here and he's got to avoid that 14 ball too. What am I picking? It's tough. They're both good friends of mine. I just want to see a good match. I don't care who wins. I think he's got it. I don't know if they got something worked out, whether we're going to play one set or not. Eric with the first game. 
before he can run. So we'll share the stream, guys. It's going to be an awesome match. These guys are good friends and teammates. But I don't think they got anything worked out, so... You'll see them both firing away. He needed that tough opener, though. A back cut to 13. It's got to avoid that side pocket going up that way, too. I think these guys are good on the bar box here. They both play better on the Nine foot tables. Got to shape these next two for that right hand side pocket. A little hard, I think. Oh, he ran into that. Works out good. Take the 10 here and come back. Nice shot. Shows you how much I know. Hi, Janet. Thanks for tuning in. Start out with two break and runs. 1-1. One, one. These guys got the ability. They can break and run, break and run until they're hill, hill. I've had Ben break and run six or seven in a row on me. So guys, it's going to be an awesome match. Hit that share button. 56 on YouTube. Got to get those numbers up there. Let's see if we can get over 300 on Facebook. You can share to any groups you're members of as well. figured out the break. It should be a true double dip unless uh, Ben and Eric's got something worked out between them. I'm not sure. Hey Randy, how you doing?
Doesn't matter which one they take here, either or. Another nice run out, Ben gives them that. See if Ben can get a ball on the break. It's been breaking tough, but. I'd like to see them break and run all the way through to go hill, hill. Well, you see these guys play on a valley table. It's ridiculous when you can cheat the pocket so much on those. I know in league this year, Ben had a few perfect five ERO nights, five for five with runouts. Which earns them a hundred bucks each time. Fourteen's tied up with the three there is the only real trouble ball for the stripes. If they can keep making a ball on the break, that's the biggest thing with these breaking so tough. They both have the ability to do it. Run out every match or every game. we have anything booked right quick um, we'll probably do one or two of our local tournaments an unfortunate kick there we'll probably do a local one of our local weekend tournaments the next couple weeks or we'll do a, one of our Q&A where we set up and take questions and answers do some Tips and tricks on how to shoot, work through anybody's issues, they can message in and let us know what they have, a particular shot they have trouble with, and we'll, we'll it's going to be tough to run this out here now. Playing on the top right, if he can get at it, doesn't look like it. Ben's going to break the streak. We're three for three in breaking runs. Who what? We're three for three with runouts. Holy! Ben got a little rough. Who won the viewer advantage? Sean Yi. One the viewer advantage. That was pulled by Cass. Tail end of last stream, if you want to go back and watch that.
Is it cold in here? It is. Okay. Just making sure. I've been freezing all weekend. <laughs> the door prize. That's why Tron came on. He goes, who won the door prize? I said, you did. I didn't know we had a door prize. Well, that's our door that's prize. Winner of the viewer advantage. Oh, that's the door prize. Yeah, is I it? guess, yeah. I think he did buy the most tickets, though. Yes. Seven? Six. Six? Six or seven, anyway, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Mr. Shannon Ducharme, how are you doing? Shannon Ducharme, absolutely. It has definitely been a minute. That was close. That was close. These two guys are very, very comfortable playing each other. They're they do teammates. it quite often. Yeah. Yeah. Better than ever. Indeed, I saw your last post there, Shannon. Well done, sir. Be nice to see you back on the table soon. Absolutely. What's going on, Janet? What's happening with you? No, I did change the last scoreboard, but missed this one. See what? We're still playing the B-side final. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the final final. This is it. Eric wanted to play on table one, so I'd set the scoreboard up on that one, and then they switch back to two. Yes. Uh-oh. He's, He's okay. Good. He's good. I might take that on the side right now. Yeah, it'd be good to see you playing again, sir. But of course, we understand priorities come first. Yes, sir. Back and forth here. I don't know if he's got enough to hold. May play it to just the corner. Nice float shot. Back and forth it is. Option one, not option two. Keeps freezing and bad picture quality. All right. Back out of Facebook and try to come in again. Yep. We're watching along on the tablet here. Looks. Perfect. And keep sharing, guys. Let's see if we can get over that 300 mark on Facebook. We're at 84 on YouTube. Let's try to break the 100 there. It's going to be awesome pool. Yeah, I don't think the Facebook quality is bad. We're no. watching along on Facebook, so... If you have a bad internet connection, that could also be the issue. Yeah, we've got no issues with the upload speed here. Is it double dip? It traditionally is double dip. Not sure if, like I said, they're not sure if they got something worked out or what they're doing, but... I know Eric wouldn't even entertain it unless Ben was to beat him in the first set. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Vargas at the table. Eric's first couple breaks have been perfect. Really? Wide open, just smashing them. He has uh, found the spot. Yep. Well, and Ben made balls on there. They haven't not made a ball yet, so for what breaking tough, they're doing good. Yeah, Mr. Dempsey, how are you, sir? Been a minute. I believe we'll be back out in your neck of the woods. 
Yeah, October for the CCS Maritime Championships again. Uh, 1850 for first. Uh, oh. <laughs> Bottom left of the screen there. Right there on the screen, Chris. I didn't even see it myself. It's 1850 for first, 1300 for second. There's a dry break. Ben needs to get this back. Absolutely, Todd. You know it. Oh, keep hitting that chair button. You did commentator curse Eric Vargas on the break there. Ben owes me a drink then. <laughs> if that's all it took to get a drink was commentator's curse, I would never be sober. Uh, James, how much were the entries? A hundred bucks. 100 bucks, no green fees, $500 added. It is one of my all-time favorite events of the year. This is the Stampede Bar Box, kind of the kickoff and the prelude to the Calgary Stampede. So if you are from out of town, this is definitely one to put on the calendar. Happens the same time every year. You come down, play in the pool tournament, and party with the rest of Calgary yeah, for, the, uh, the for the week. the Stampede Grounds. Yeah, we had 71 players. Oh, the second ball is definitely the way to go on, on these tables, Steve. Playing diamond tables, a little bit different than a valley table. Valley tables, absolutely, I would go after the head ball. Uh, but even then, sometimes the way that a valley plays, uh, I'll go second ball break. And yeah, definitely a bar box thing on a nine foot. You very seldom do you go second ball. Should pay more. Sure. Yeah, Shannon, I think, has won this before. His favorite eight ball tournament. Yeah, absolutely. I actually saw that on the memory, I believe, on Friday. It was uh, Shannon Ducharme. I think that was actually your post, Shannon. Just says Kathy McDonald popped up watching and she's sitting to my left with no phone. Interesting. So might be somebody back home. That's right, Monk. It was uh, Ben, ben beat Francis. Him. Yeah. yeah, it took out Stephen Halem. He decided to take the rest of the Sunday and go play a tournament at Chill Billiards in Calgary here. There you go, Janet says she goes second ball on all the tables. Slow down. Thanks, Ron. Absolutely, thanks, Ron. Ben with the run out off the dry break. Needs to break and run to get back even. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. We appreciate it. We certainly put in our time, guys. There's yep. no doubt about it. <clears throat> Won the first two. Oh, wow. There you go. Strictly second break. Second ball. Second ball break. It is definitely the way to break on a diamond table. And if anybody disagrees with me, I can tell them, well, you're disagreeing with Shannon Descharmes as well. Another guy, 700 plus Fargo. Absolutely. Yep. Beast of a player. So we got Ben at 721. Eric says 708. bit more of a challenging run here though mm -hmm. I don't know if he's quite in on the one I think the one is or sorry the 10 is yeah, sticking its nose in the way
I just heard uh, my girlfriend's kid David's down there playing in the chill. He goes down. He's 16 years old. He's won his first two matches. Oh, and, and he won, bought in on the 10 ball break and he won 108 bucks on the 10 ball break. So <laughs> I'm making him buy dinner tomorrow. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely, Rob. Ben is the player that put that jersey on after his team won for the third time in VNEA. You got it. Ben loves that new shaft. Yeah. he's. You know what? He thought it would take a little bit of time to acclimate to the Jacoby Black. Took him about a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I walked in the very first day that he had it. I walked into uh, to the leather pocket. He was standing there practicing. I can't remember who he was playing. Probably Jesse or... I can't remember who, but I watched him do just the most ridiculous things with that shaft on a nine-foot table. So he's in love with it. Does Shane's second ball break? Depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. A lot of the time Shane's did straight down the middle, but he's one of the best breakers in the world. He's... Oh, of course. Practice it for eight hours at a time. It's yeah. Uh, Rob, his name was Barry Huey. He is the, the grandfather of the Calgary pool scene, or was the grandfather of the Calgary pool scene. Well, that Jacoby, we get a better deal than actually ordering it through Jacoby. It's, uh, if you want to know all the details of it, on how you can get your hands on one of those Jacoby Blacks, uh, just send a message to the Q Sports Live page. I'll get back to you with uh, exactly all of the details, the who's, what's, when's, where's, why's, prices, so on and so forth. So yeah, either message page through Messenger or send us an email, QSportsLive at gmail.com. Absolutely. <laughs> Impressive shooting, says Steve. It makes me want to start playing tournaments again. Good stuff. Absolutely, Steve. That's actually one of the good things about Q Sports Live as well. It kind of gives you that pool itch to go out and play. Well, that's our main goal is to help grow the sport. That's it. And it's actually one of the best pieces of advice that I ever got, uh, whether I'm playing on the stream or not. Um, during your practice sessions, record yourself using your phone. Go back and watch yourself. You'll see absolutely everything about your game how you approach a ball, what your stance is like, what your stroke is like on every different shot out there. Yeah, you miss a shot, it could, it'll could show you whether you stood up or Absolutely. twisted your arm or something, you can actually see it. Well, it gives you real good information on what you need to work on. Yeah, every time I play on the stream, I'm going back and watching it. Yeah, no troubles at all, Rob. Been itching for two and a half years. Yeah, no doubt, Todd. Well, you'll get there. I know you've got uh, another eye surgery coming up. So, of course, we wish you the best of luck with that. Let's hit that share button, guys. See if we can jump over 300. We're at 293 now. Bill, what is the difference between that and the Revo? There's a few differences. Uh, the quality of the carbon fiber. I know Jacoby use air, uses aerospace. Um, quality quality uh, carbon fiber. The biggest thing about it is the taper. It has a pro taper on the Jacoby Black, whereas the Revo, whether it's the 12.4 or the 12.9, is just a straight taper. It does not have the pro taper. So your Jacoby Black does, and that's what I prefer. It comes at a 12.3 diameter tip. And from the tip on back has a pro taper to it. So it does feel like a Predator Z shaft uh, as far as the feel. Um, but the difference between wood shafts and carbon fiber is the transfer of power. You'll find when you, uh, when you make the switch, if you make the switch to a carbon fiber shaft, you do not have to hit as hard. The transfer of power through the shaft to the cue ball is phenomenal. And the same thing with the spin, so you're, you don't have to aim as far right and left or low or high on the cue ball, more to the center, which makes it more accurate, and you'll get the same amount of spin as hitting closer to the center of the cue ball as you would with the wood shaft. 
That should be even more accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime, I mean, all of the carbon fibers hit well. Um, you're not, I don't think you're going to get a bad hitting carbon fiber shaft. It doesn't matter which one it is. Um, I just prefer the feel and the hit of the Jacoby Black, certainly over the Predator. You get that little ting with the Predator with the Rebo when you don't get that with Well, the I can black. get that ting with anything. That's, uh, that's to me, is uh, a, gr uh, a sign of your, your grip and your stroke because I can get a ping from a wood shaft. Oh, there you go, Todd. Yeah, lots of guys that have got the Revo or switching to the Jacoby Black after they've tried it. Well, you look at Stephen Halem was one of those guys. Yep. And I told him. I tried to warn him. I said, Stephen. Hold off. Hold off. Don't buy that Revo. Wait till you hit with the Jacoby Black. Oh, no, no, no. I think I'm just going to get it. Okay. And he got it. And then when we got our Jacoby Blacks, we tried that and made the switch. Sold to Revo and got into the Jacoby Black. Well, it's the same with the BK Rush. I love that when that thing came out. And oh, of course. Totally tried to thumper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, same as the IQ that uh, we were going on about for a while. And those, I, I thought, there's no way. There's nothing out there that's ever going to beat it. Yeah. Until we got a hold of the thumper. Yeah, or the Prevail jumps as good as those yeah, two. Prevail Prevail's it's also a very, very good hitting jump cue. And your uh, your Prevail um, breaking cue. Oh, his break cues are oh, yeah. phenomenally well. Yeah, Jerry's break and jump cues are just amazing. If you want to go the custom route, but... Can you get it in a 30 inch? I can come close. I was actually talking to Brandon about that a week and a half ago, and uh, he can come close to the 30 inch, but those uh, carbon fiber blanks only come in so long and they really have to watch how they're making it in order to kind of get it up to that 30 inch, but they can come very, very close. 29 plus. <laughs> Rocky sold my Revo as well after trying the Jacoby at the Canadians in Niagara. How many players are confirmed for next month's tournament? There are a ton of confirmed. There are a ton still to confirm. And there are a ton of players on uh, the wait list. So we will ramp up the pressure on those that have not confirmed and even if you have confirmed understand guys if you are on the pick list or not the pick list sorry the invite list for the Q Sports payment. Live Invitational your payment will secure your spot but nothing else because obviously it is in pretty high demand Will can you get it in a 3810 of course I can get it in 3810 516 14 516 18 uh, Unilock, Unilock radial. radial. Pretty much all the common. Yeah, all of the It's the only, the one-offs from like McDermott or the odd one is tough to get. Oh, look. I knew he would come down. Oh, trust me. I I would have stayed there, but this one player just came down. Yeah, no. Color of the carbon fiber matches my linen wrap. Absolutely. And James did get his through Q Sports Live as well, 3810. Actually, our wait time if you order through us is a little better than the. Um, I would say up to a lot better. 
Yeah, nice there's six run from Ben Francis tie ball game. Six months through Jacoby, and we're in the sort of eight, eight to nine week range, somewhere around there. Yeah, six to eight, yeah. give or take. Yeah. Absolutely, Jason. I know you sent a message to the page asking if uh, we could get one by the time you get here in August, and I doubt it. We'll try, but that's less than four weeks. Yeah. And normal ordering times for us is six to eight, eight weeks or six months through Jacoby. Again, if you guys are around, we're we'll happy to lend you ours to try it out. Oh, of course. Same with that thumper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like it's break time. Yeah, they're going for a smoke, so this will be a good five minutes. Absolutely. You can run that commercial. and Yeah, we'll show you with the Jacoby Black here. And <laughs> Is it 3-3 three, three for Eric? <laughs> yeah, you got it. So I'm going to run out and uh, check the weather. going to raffle a Jacoby Black. That is the, that viewer advantage that we do. And I'll po put that poster. We just draw, drew the one for this tournament, but this is what we normally run, this viewer advantage. So you buy tickets on this. You get your choice of the Jacoby Black T3 Jump Break, JB Case plus cash, Bob Danielson SS 360 plus cash, or straight cash. So this is, it's not a raffle, it's a contest. That way we do it legally. So it's $20 a ticket for those. We'll have, for the next tournament, we'll have another one up, but that's how we run those. So it's your choice of any one of those options. You know what, some of the big pool sites might have ordered a big batch of the Jacoby Blacks and have them in stock. All ours we order for you based on your pin. We will end up with some stock down the road here, but... Right now it's a special order for each person. Well, you've made some money, Royce, because I think I don't know what they're paying out top three for the players meeting. Although I'm not sure what you guys worked out. I wasn't over there when you guys did it. How much for the Jacoby Black? They are... 6.30 Canadian, I believe, shipped through us. And we usually get them duty-free. So if you order from Jacoby, they're the 475 US plus shipping plus duty. But message the page, Jason. Okay, there's the payouts for the...
I just sent you a message there, Jason. We'd have to double check with the pea shower because they're sometimes unique joint on those things as well. 71 players, Patrick. Blind draw, $20 entry. There you go. They list all the pin styles on the Jacoby page. And Ben should be back here. He's just walking back in. Eric will be back to the table in a minute. We'll be back underway. Yep. Yep, throw all the names in a hat. You throw your 20 bucks in, you get to pick out of the hat, and that's who you got. break. Got kind of like stripes here. Start with that 13 on the side. Yeah. Royce does have some luck. Double dip in effect? I'm not sure. Uh, Can you it, ask? It, well, it depends. If uh, Ben beats Eric in the first set, there may be some deal going on. I okay. don't know. But I know Eric w will not consider that right now. Ben's going to have to beat Eric first. Nope. Bernie, this is it. This is the finals. Like it says on the scoreboard there, championship final. Yeah, absolutely, James. They do list all the pins, but typically I can get them in 3, 8, 10, 5, 16, 14, 5, 16, 18, unilock, radial, all the common pins. Only one that I haven't been able to get yet uh, and they won't make is a one of Jacoby, or not Jacoby, um, McDermott quick release. Not a huge amount of difference between the construction of the Mucci and the Jacoby Black. They both have a pro taper. Uh, both come pretty close to 12.3, I believe. I can't remember the diameter of the tip on the Mucci. Um, the difference, I think, is going to be in the actual carbon fiber, where Jacoby uses aerospace engineered or aerospace grade carbon fiber, which makes a really, really big difference. Good evening there, folks. How's everybody doing this evening? It's Johnny here, back at uh, with Grant. Yeah, what's going on, Mr. Winner? 
Oh, Mr. Winner, hey. Mr. Not much. Winner. Not much. I figured I'd be nice enough and come back and help out again. Eh? You know, jump in, accommodate here on the last final match. Absolutely. Hey, you're welcome, Steve. Thanks for tuning in. Your opinion is you hate when people split. Play it out and may the best man win. Yeah, that, uh, yeah that's true. Mm, yeah, um, I, I see it from both sides. Ben and uh, Eric are teammates, roadies. Mm -hmm played each other a billion times they can do whatever you know whatever after earth right you yeah know? but at the same time you know it's nice to uh, see them you know playing it out you know for other viewers out there and mm -hmm. watch and learn and see you know yeah how much of a uh, pressure this can be right yeah uh what about the viking quick release i believe viking is just a standard quick release pin Oh, did he get? Did he get enough there? Did yeah, he get, did he I'm nudge it enough? not sure. I don't think so. Looks like the six is a big old beach ball. Uh, Bernie, I'm not sure what I'm, my choice is yet because uh, you know I got Grant here. He's kind of got his hand on my ear. <laughs> no, no, I, I already told you. I don't care what you do. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try something. If, if it was me that was giving advice on what yeah. to choose, it would be the T3 or, or yeah. the black. Those yeah. are the best bang for the buck, in my opinion. Yeah. But that, that choice is yours. Yeah. Exactly. Other than that, how's everybody out there doing tonight, this evening? I hope uh, wherever you're at, uh, and, um, weather's nice out there for you and enjoying a Sunday. Thanks, Neil. McDermott probably has a patent on their quick release. Um, I'm not sure if it's a patent. I think it's, yeah, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. No, Jay, I didn't fly from, uh, mm. from chills or I drove, made sure um, that it was doing the speed limit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have had two, uh, viewers that bought the Jacoby Black that did have that McDermott quick release. They sent their butt into their queue into Nick at uh, Nick's Q Innovation. He changed out the pin to a radial pin and therefore the Jacoby Black would fit on their playing queue. Yep. <laughs> really, Jason? Uh, no, it'll, t it'll probably take you a couple months here just to get that covered split. <laughs> Um, no, I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up here yet, so I'm just going to wait till that uh, final matches here are done, and then I'm going to try out the T3s and go from there. Even though I do have a jump queue, but hey, you know, the having the right, right equipment sometimes helps you with your games too, right? So, mm -hmm. also it depends on the person that knows how to jump. <laughs> well, and if that's ever there was a queue that did the work for you, that's the one. Actually, you know, there's sometimes I can't jump, so that's why I don't like to jump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the McDermott traditionally will use the Unilock. However, there are some out there that are not the Unilock. They are a patented or I don't know whether they're a specialty order or what they are, but whatever pin style, it is a quick release on the McDermott that uh, Jacoby says nope they are not at all common enough yeah I don't really like that quick release much especially if I uh, know for a shooter queue mm -hmm. I don't mind it when it's for your breaker that's just you know which is fine I know the predator uh, uh, predator one and two and I think three they're all uh, quick release they are so you know I don't mind those but uh, not for a shooter queue yeah. That's and it was actually, I think, the uh, Predator 2 break queue that was the best one of those. Actually, yeah, because yeah, uh, I actually have the Predator uh, BK2, and it has a uh, support wrap. And I had that since, uh, the first, since they first came out with it. Mm -hmm. 
I had a couple people were asking the offer who want to buy it from me. I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> I'm keeping this one. Yeah. I missed who won that game. I uh, think Ben Eric. Francis. Eric won? Yeah. Eric won that. It's marked on Ben's side. Oh, is it? Um, I thought Eric was shooting low ball. I don't know. But it is marked on Ben's side. Well, Eric's the red over there. Well, Eric's sitting on this side. Ben's sitting on that side. So yeah, that. Okay, well. Um, Eric. All right, Eric won. So Eric leads 4-3. Interesting. They have the scores flipped on the chart as to where they're sitting anyway. Thanks, guys. We we got that Eric one there. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, watching our back here and telling us, you know, paying, paying attention here, helping us out. I know Grant doesn't pay much attention sometimes. No, I never do. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford to pay attention. <laughs> And of course, and as always, guys, if you are just tuning in, you are watching the finals for the Stampede Bar Box, Calgary, Alberta. And if you uh, feel so inclined, help us out, hit that share button. What was your first clue? <laughs> There's too many clues out there, there, Bernie. So right now, uh, Benny broke. He made uh, made a ball off the break. So it looks like he's going for the solids here. The only trouble he has is that two ball. It might get. It might go past no, the fourteen. I think 14. he's going to move the eleven ball. If he takes the uh, the four ball here, yeah. Eleven moves, and uh, that opens up that bottom right hand pocket for the two. Uh oh. No, I think the four. I think the two ball does go. It so must go past yeah. that fourteen. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing well, John. How you doing? Nice little draw out. And probably just going to play this with top and run into the nine ball. Use the nine as a stopper for the cue ball. Yep. <coughs> That'll open up possibilities for the seven or the one, depending on where he lands. I would assume he'd want to go for the seven Yeah. after this shot. Oh, well, so he could go for uh, the three and the five and come back out for the seven and then roll it down to the corner so that way he's got the one inside. He's just done it for the eight mm -hmm. to the corner. Yeah. There's so many options. You know, there's a few options. Though, That's and it's going to be shooter's choice. That's right. right. We get to guesstimate yeah. back That's here. Right. Yeah. They get to see the angles that we don't get to see. Oh, oh no! He uh, overcut that. Sure did. He, he got he the second part of the equation. Yeah, the but you gotta make the first part first. See, with uh, Ben, I noticed, you know, known him for a while here. You no, know, he does uh, takes a couple strokes and then. Oh, he's a very yeah. quick player. That's right. Yeah, he and does not take long on his strokes. No, he doesn't. And sometimes like, that costs you that you no know, match. Absolutely. Well, he lives by the sword and dies by the sword. That's uh, right. We were talking about that, I think, in the last stream. Uh, really, really quick player. Doesn't take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it works for him. Yeah. Uh, I cannot play at the same speed as what Ben Francis does. I can do that, uh, play that speed there. It depends on who I'm playing, right? Who's my opponent is. But especially if you're playing against another topper player, you should just always take your time. You know, you're there to play a pool. You have all that time all day. Might as well spend the extra time to take that shot. Mm -hmm. What kind of chalk do I use? I started to kind of experiment, so I've tried them all. I've tried Kamui, I've tried Sniper, I've tried Diamond, I've tried just about every chalk there is out there, and uh, I went back to straight master's chalk. Actually, I can tell. I can say that that's the truth there with me too. There's a few uh, other chalks I went out there with and tried it and did not like him. Yeah. Went back to Masters. 
and I don't know why that is. Um, I didn't find with the other chalks that they were much better, and especially for the price. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and especially with Kamui. I mean, yeah. Well, let's take that too. Even uh, let's say you know you accidentally left it on the table, and then yeah, it's you're thirty bucks out the door. Yep, you you turn around and. One, not even one second, it's gone. Well, and here's here's kind of the, the the thought process I had when I was trying the Kamui, is they say you don't have to chalk up every shot. Oh, I don't know any player out there that doesn't chalk after every shot. It's I habitual. And during that chalk process is when you do your thinking. And I found that when I didn't have to chalk, I wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. Right, I didn't allow myself that time, and I felt rushed. And yeah, yeah, it yeah. just it took away from a different element of my game. Okay, I'm not sure how that happened. You were shaking the table. Grant got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube just fell on the floor. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, it uh, it took away. As much as it might have added an element to the game, yep. uh, or to not having to chalk all the time, uh, it took away from a different element of my game. I would rather uh, you know, chalk every time because you know after you shoot, then you chalk up. Doesn't matter if you're chalking three, four, or even six times. I don't know if anybody's keeping track, but you no, know, it helps you to kind of hey, you're thinking, you're walking around the table. Mm -hmm. Because every time you, when you walk in one direction, you walk in another direction, so you can always see a different pattern. Yeah, who beat Sean Yee? Ben Francis. I don't know who that Ben Francis is. <laughs> uh, hard to justify the high prices of other chalks, I agree. I like the tome, I tried tome, I did not like it. Is there online brackets? Indeed there is. It is sitting up on the top right hand side of your screen, challenge.com forward slash HSSBB2019. And yes, that's right there, James. Chalking up, it helps slow you down too. And if you notice some players, especially for Ben, he chalks up once or twice in that one game. Or it all depends where it comes down to. If he has to uh, rethink the strategy, then he chalks and you know. But majority of the time, he rarely chops. Who? Ben. Yeah. Well, he's got such a pure stroke. Yeah. You know? But for uh, for myself and I would say 95% of all the other players that don't play the same as Ben Francis, um, it's just part of my pre-shot routine. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Barb Barbara says the same thing. I talk during my pre-shot, go through too much to pay. <laughs> exactly, you know, you can have that one chalk that you pay thirty dollars for, and mm -hmm. uh, next thing it only lasts you for maybe two weeks. Yeah. Do you have a color choice? Just blue, blue masters chalk. Uh, I don't like red. If you come across red chalk, throw it in the garbage. It does not belong on a table. Well, it doesn't belong on the table with the blue or green cloth, especially. <laughs> The only red chalk that's good for it is only on the red cloth, mm -hmm. and that's the only reason why. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Mike? I'm not sure what the brand was. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was Nick from Nick's Q Innovations that gave me uh, that chalk to play with, uh, the Tome. He's given me another one as well, and uh, nope. Uh, I really didn't mind the Sniper chalk. It was kind of in between the Masters and the, and the Kamui, mm -hmm. but you just can't get your hands on it here. No. That's right, unless it felt red. Yes. <laughs> That's the only time you can use red chalk. <laughs> uh, the eraser versus the grinder, indeed. Actually, do you know there's also a black chalk? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what, Kane? I'm with you. I do not like red cloth or red chalk. does not belong. Actually, you know, I just thought of this now. I'm just going to have that red chalk with me when I play you. No, <laughs> no, don't let it out of your sight because I'll crush it. I'll throw it on the floor and step on it. Yeah, yeah that's the word, last thing you know. All you do, all you see is a chalk, red chalk on the cue ball. And you're like, you can't touch it every time. You'll be cleaning 
each shot. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> terrible. Uh, you're, you're taking red chalk and beating the heck out of that cue ball with it. And no, <laughs> it's not allowed. We've got 330 viewers on, on Facebook. That is actually... 121 on YouTube. And guys, let me tell you, do that not is good. use red chalk so bad. I'll buy somebody a drink if they do that with Garrett. <laughs> it's all right. Excuse my French here, guys. That would earn you an ass whooping. <laughs> Barbara, hit the thumbs up, y'all. Let's go. Thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the share button there, folks. Absolutely. And I'm just curious, out of the 500 some odd that we have viewing, where are you all from? No. No? Nope. Newbies. Okay. Newbies. If you're a newbie, first time viewer to Q Sports Live, uh, let us know. I want to give you a shout out on the stream. If you're all new newbies, well, we got four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. I prefer the fuchsia. <laughs> no, no, Scott, bad idea. Oh, I always say y'all. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny there, Scott. What's the next event? Can you stream action after the tourney? If there is any, there probably won't be any in this room. It's pretty quiet. Everybody's um, kind of cleared out. Did but you get the uh, invite there for the one in uh, right here for August for that uh, TJ? I think um, Ben and Ryan are going to go up to that. I won't be, but the next one is actually okay. uh, late July, the week before our one in, in, in uh, uh, August, yeah. and it'll be back here, I, th uh, I think. Pipe stem. Pipe stem. Pipe stem tournament. When's that? Uh, David, I've seen you on before. This is my first time in a few minutes, says Patrick. <laughs> Ray Beerhead, absolutely, or Bearhead. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for sitting across from the tablet, not looking at it. Mm hmm. Here, whoops, here, I'll adjust it there for you so you can see it. Oh, that's better. <laughs> actually, uh, Ray is actually from, uh, she's from Lacombe, but she uh, was also playing in Red Deer. Oh, very good. So she actually just uh, moved to Calgary here just uh, a couple months ago now, and she's doing schooling here, and um, now she is also working at the Leather Pocket. Oh, very good. very good. So we, we will probably be seeing her at a uh, big mm. event. Absolutely. In Looking forward to it. Yep. Uh, I didn't see what happened. Who won that game again? Um, see, this is what happens. We get busy talking. Yeah. I I believe. Uh, oh, it Eric. was Eric. See, yeah. That's who won. We yeah. no no doubt of that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but sorry, Ben, but no. <laughs> I'm not Ben though. Well, I no, have the voice no. of Ben. Yeah, but I'm just saying that for the oh, future when he watches or when he goes back to watch. That's I gotcha. right. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same thing. I kind of go back and watch and see how I'm playing and what, even though I know I did a little mistake that I shouldn't have, but hey. Oh, it's great information yeah. on yourself. It and in is. fact, uh, before uh, I started with Q Sports Live, I actually used to take my phone and record myself. It was a really, really good piece of advice that I got, was to take out your phone and uh, record yourself in practice. Yep. Hey, Sean. And Patrick and everybody else that's tuning in mm -hmm. and chatting along. Absolutely. We appreciate it. It's been a really long weekend of pool, but a really good weekend. Yes. Great weekend of pool. Uh, congratulations to the Hidden Spot. Mm -hmm. Put on a heck of a tournament. Steph Toy for doing a really great job yes. running the tournament. And uh, also thank you for all the ladies for coming up for the first time. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The 35 ladies. Yes. That's a, actually a huge turnout there. And uh, hopefully for the next uh, year in Vance, we'll see more of you ladies coming out. Absolutely. And of course, we can't forget the all men's. you guys, the viewers. The men's and the viewers. That's right. Some viewers have been with us all weekend long. It's been great. I think uh, I'm being on here the longest this weekend. This is the first yes, time. Yes, I agree. Yeah, you put in, put in the time this, uh, this weekend for sure. No, thanks to you and Ben being on the B-side. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my very first match and had to battle. 
<laughs> and I was battling more than just my opponent. I was battling me and my opponent. Yeah, yeah. I just did not play very well this weekend, but yeah, we're allowed. Oh, oh I got to go ref this shot here. Ben just says, I'm the jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> Refing, commentating. Oh, I don't think that was what he wanted. It was a good effort. That was a really good effort. So it was Ben that wanted me to spot that eight ball. I couldn't... Uh, well, that's funny there, Patrick. Yeah, uh, just when he had to go and uh, spot the eight ball, he <laughs> shook the table again, and iPod <laughs> almost fell. L the lucky speed of the, you know, the Asian got that little quick hand here, quickly snapped it on it. Yeah, but just that's before. not fair. That's all <laughs> genetically <laughs> built in. <laughs> that's oh, all that bum yeah, to get yeah. out of the way. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are the ladies still playing? Uh, I believe so. I know it's Tony Sakamoto. That is, uh, she won the hot seat. But that's the only part of upstairs that I know what's going on. Uh, who was your uh, horse there, Todd? Or Ben Francis is. Nice, Patrick. Oh, you got, ben, you got Ben as your horse there, Todd. There we go. I got gotcha. you. It's a pretty good horse to have. Yeah. You're, you're lucky there, Todd. If I was... Sh no. He got me this morning. He did. He came to play this morning. But, you know, here's the funny thing. I think you're the same as I am. I don't like morning pool at all. Well, actually, yesterday yesterday morning I was fine. But, you know, that one thing is I didn't sleep well all the night before. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, last night I finally got home and s slept well. And then knowing not to get up and then be here. So, you know, it all depends on how, uh, you know, how you feel in the first day in the morning. Well, it doesn't right. matter how I feel. I do not play good pool in the mornings. Yeah. And Ben was the same way. But as of late, has uh, yeah. found to... Yes, it is. Uh, Rick, how's it going, Rick? How's, uh, how are you doing over there on that side of the world or province? Sorry, not province, country. How's that? <coughs> okay, so that's who won. Uh, Marianne won the ladies, and uh, Tony, she was the top. Uh, runner-up the hot seat that was an excellent job I'm not sure who got uh, third or fourth if you uh, viewers want to find out you can uh, log into uh, Shalon there and punch in stampede ladies bar box and that would give you all the full info as her Rick Leon is that mr. Sean Yee I'm hearing it is Rick. And you know what? Uh, speaking of Rick, Rick Leon, uh, he used to live here for, for a couple of years and worked here and played here. You know, mm -hmm. him and I used to bat it out in snooker, actually. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. And uh, he was actually living in Red Deer, so he was, you know, doing the shutdowns. Then he'll go back, you know, home, which is on the east side of the coast there, and come <laughs> back out here, you know. Yeah. And Jeffrey, it would be Ben Francis. 
that would have to double dip Eric. Eric is the hot seat winner. And potentially, potentially could be out here yeah. for the win. It would be nice to see you out here there, Rick, next time maybe you have a chance to come out and play some uh, our events. It's pretty good, you know. Well, let's see. I see trouble in the future. I'm not sure why he didn't want to play, uh, why he didn't play that safe there, Chris. Yeah. So he's going to try the 15-13 into the side pocket. Probably play it off the one ball yeah. because he did not get shape. Well, you know the one thing I noticed is that uh, when you know you're on the hill and sometimes you basically can't. Oh, the curse of the hill. It's like, okay, <coughs> I want to get this over with right now. Yeah. And then sometimes it just backfires on you. And you know the funny thing is, you know, I was playing a match where I was on the hill and, you know, I just took my time and played safe and, hey, I won that match. I know I was on the hill, but I wasn't going to rush it. Mm -hmm. Well, we saw that. Uh, I was talking with Kun Dao after. Oh, great shot from Eric. Oh, nice Look shot. at this. Nice shot. And did he get Does he get rewarded? He, he no, he's got he the 15 into the bottom right-hand corner. I don't think 11 passes the 5 no. ball. But he doesn't, want to hit that he doesn't want to hit that 15 too hard. Or else he's going to nudge that 11 down to the rail. And 11 doesn't have nowhere to go, right? Well, he can, he can squeak between... By taking the 15 to the bottom right, he can shoot that window between yeah. the uh, 11 and 5. <laughs> You'll be right here in 22 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Attaboy, Todd. Oh, maybe the 11 does go. Oh, it probably does. See, like I said, the viewers, uh, sometimes we so see... That's so tight. We see uh, things differently than what the uh, player sees. That is tight. Does he shoot the eyes off of it, or does the horn say hello? And oh, he, he played it. it off the horn. Very oh, well yeah, done. That was a good shot. However, what do you do with the 10 here, Sean? With the 10, just roll that 15 and go up to the top left corner pocket. Just For where the he's standing. Pocket. That's right. He has enough angle there on the 15 just to roll up. You don't want to go too far. Going under, it's not too bad, but... If you're going over, you might be good enough to, to shoot I the thought eight. He had the, I thought he had the wrong angle on that no. 15 ball. See, right here, he was a little too short, right? But he can still come back out. He can oh, stun just it. just draw off the back rail. Yeah, he can do that, draw it. Even two rails. He can draw that two rails. Go two rails But nope. he's He could go forward with right. There's there a you lot go. of different ways. That's what he's doing. That is what he's doing. Great shot. That's right. There's like three different ways of shooting, getting shape. This is why he is called Eric the Eraser, the eraser. Vargas. He takes your soul and erases your hopes and dreams. Yes. <laughs> you know, actually, last year in some of the big events I was playing in, and I get knocked out second round. I'm mm -hmm. in the B side. I'm here. I am knocking out the other players. <laughs> I'm like, guys, why are you guys sending them to me? <laughs> Oh, I got it. I'm the cleanup boy guy here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Nice and shot. Ben makes him shoot it. Very well done. There you have it, folks. There is your winner, Mr. Eric the Eraser Vargas. Congratulations to Eric <laughs> Vargas for the Stampede Bar Box 4th Annual. 2019. Okay. And champion. The runner up was Ben Francis. Yes, well done, Mr. Francis. I know he'll be he'll be saying he's the sick a second, <laughs> but uh, job well done. Yes. He battled hard. Uh, so guys, uh, on behalf of myself, Sean Yi, Ben Francis, Ryan Epp and the rest of the Q Sports Live team, we really do appreciate you tuning in with us. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go onto our Facebook page, click the like button or on YouTube hit the subscribe button so that next time that we are live you'll get notified you can jump on have some fun with us on the live stream again and congratulations again Sean Yi for your win thank and you. the viewer advantage thank you you're more than welcome and of course thank you to the hidden spot bringing us back again for uh, two years in a row three years in a row I think for the Stampede Bar Box certainly appreciate it this is fourth year now yeah, but yeah. for us. Oh, for you guys. Yeah, for yeah. the crew. It's Second or two. third year here. Uh, actually, it'd be two, two, three, I think. I think three. Yeah, I think it yeah. was three, yeah. yeah. 
So we appreciate uh, Hidden Spot bringing us back. Joanne Ashton, great job as always. Really, really impressive this weekend. Uh, staff has been amazing. Been amazing hosts for us here again. And again, guys, thank you for tuning in and joining in with us all weekend. And we will be back for the Pipe STEM event uh, just about the end of July. We may, I know I've said this before and it hasn't happened yet, but we're going to try to make it happen. We're going to go live with a Q&A session prior to the Pipe STEM event. Cool. Nice. And uh, yeah, we appreciate everybody tuning in. Thanks again, guys. Have a great evening. We'll see you in the next event.